no, no, no. My cavalry has immediately been the, 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 just annihilated because of one anti-cavalry unit. Oh, this is Attila at its finest. The Western Empire will not be messed with. Can I get something going for me, please? It is 420 AD, 100 turns into this campaign. If you missed how we got here, I could recommend you check out this video where I played the first 100 turns. But here we are now and Rome is still strong. It is still the greatest power on earth, but we have some issues. Issue number one, the East is not looking too hot, so we need to fix that. And issue number two, there's a lot of Sassanids. A whole lot of Sassanids where the East used to be. So we need to fix that. Issue number three, and this is probably going to be the biggest one. Attila just assumed control of the Huns. Now, they're still our friends. We have forged a very good working relationship with the Huns by paying them to go away. So the goal for the next 100 turns or however long it takes is clear. We will reclaim all of the land we gave up in the start of this campaign. We will take back Hispania. We will take back Britannia. Gaul, down Dalmatia, everything, and we will prop up the East. If the Eastern Roman Empire cannot survive on its own, we will replace it. We will absorb it and simply become the Roman Empire. My armies are quite tied down. I am facing a lot of issues up here near Alexandria, but I should be able to mop this up quickly. I'll take Berenice, that will give us the entire province of Egypt, and then I can start my campaign with three armies against the Sassanids. Up north here, I've managed to stem the tide against the Gallic tribes, more or less, still need to leave some troops behind, but I've crushed most of what's been sent over. I've got a navy in place to intercept whenever, wh whatever these guys uh, send across. Espana has a lot of gold, a lot of resources, and uh, hopefully that will allow me to get something done. Now, my main problem for the campaign is going to be public order. I'm playing this on legendary difficulty. That means I get a massive public order penalty that I need to offset. Attila itself also has a very, very, very tricky food system, so I'm losing food like crazy due to raiding, due to hordes in my provinces, and because just the overall fertility of the world is going down turn by turn by turn. Everything is going to get consecutively worse. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. That should be Berenice in my hands. A nice little stack of auto resolve. Should see this dealt with. I really need to preserve these forces. They're a little beat up and I'm going to need them to deal with the Sassanids up north. I also think I can now make a deal with Aksum down south. Get them off my back. I need fewer enemies, not more. Three grand for a peace treaty. I'll take it. Why must you be like this? Another enemy pops up, Judea. Oh, they're just gonna completely bypass everything and take that city to my rear because of course they are, of course. Of course they are. I'll see if I can fight this on the battle map. I want to see what kind of settlement I have. Ah, no, it's not a it's not a settlement battle I can win. This is one of the really bad settlements. Sometimes you get like a really good settlement that you can easily defend because it's uh, its layout is just that optimal. This isn't one of those though. This it's auto resolve that. Yes, I know you could fight it on the battle map, deplete their forces and then come in with your I don't I don't want that right now. I, I just want to get on with things. Now, let's send this army south to deal with that stack. We should be able to take it. Yeah, they will just run away. Let's take him out. Should be able to ease. Easily. There we go. Oh, I'm so glad I kept my fleets in the north. So these guys, the Abdanians, keep trying to send armies across. And they're fairly good armies. They're, they're pretty high tier. I would have significant difficulties dealing with them. But the fleet, there's nothing they can do about the fleet. The fleet's a little beat up, but I can take their entire army without even breaking a sweat. So let's just sink that. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. That's a whole stack taken out. Easy peasy, just like that. We begin our glorious campaign against the Persians. They do have quite a few troops here, but most of them are like naval assets. They're not that powerful. I could manually attack the city, but do I really care enough? One of my armies has to come in via sea, and that's kind of risky if uh, I mishandle it and they get caught by the enemy's navy. I'd much rather just auto-resolve it, honestly, and just... I don't think I'll lose the auto-resolve. I don't think I'll lose too many units. That looks like a win. Well, the Eastern Empire isn't going to save itself. I'll have to do it. So, starting a slight cap 
campaign to the north here. I'm going to try to retake Anatolia, or at least stem the tide in Anatolia. I really, 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 really wish I had more troops because I am stretched to the limit. Classic AI move of moving further than the map indicates that they're capable of moving. They just bypassed my entire defensive network to the north and walked around it to an unprotected settlement. Can I hold that settlement? I can hold this settlement, I think. I can... Oh, they got an onager, though. If I can kill the onager, I think I can hold that settlement. The city center is what we need to hold. This is incredibly valuable. As long as we hold that, they can't really do anything. Uh, let's take all the army we have. It's not a much. We'll build a barricade there. Ignore it. Let's take out the siege weapons at least these guys run away try to loop to that forest and then get behind their main force maybe we can catch their celtic warlord somehow the artillery is dealt with these guys are yeah yeah artillery is dead in theory you should be able to win this but uh this is not happening again here game things my units are losing they're not losing they're really not but i should be able to win this easily but his guys get a billion buffs. I, I need to free up my cavalry so it can start recharging this blob. If I can get my cavalry to charge this again and again and again, I will win. The cavalry will constantly be tied down by this. So units that should route upon contact don't. They get to last just a little bit longer. Units that should lose to your units again don't. And as a result, yeah, there go my cavalry. <sighs> The garrison's been wiped out. We got a good amount of kills in, but not nearly enough to matter. As expected, uh, pff, their units just go through you like you're not there. I think they'll just sack it, and I'll send a unit back to take it back. I don't have public order, and I don't know how to get it. I do know how to get it. It's build better buildings. Anyone who ever wants to play Attila, Western Roman Empire, do yourself a favor before you even start this campaign. One, don't play legendary. It's not worth it. And two, look up a guide on how to build your settlements, because this is brutally punishing, and I am no longer enjoying myself. Well, at least we'll get our vengeance for the loss of the settlements. Goodbye. Well, this could get me uh, two public order plus one more public order, three public order, but it would disable molded architecture, so I wouldn't be able to build circuses, great theaters, or imperial libraries. I think I'm just gonna have to take the hit that I won't be able to build those three, so I can actually get some public order in the remains of the empire. Fortunately, while everything else is falling apart, at least my campaign against assassinates is progressing. I've, I've killed a couple of their smaller armies. I've taken a couple of their settlements. Oh my god, that is a lot of cataphracts and oh no. Oh, underestimated the Persians. I can corner camp and deal with their cavalry that way, but they got an onager. I think I want to run away. Yep. I'm going to run away. And I've gotten dogpiled again by two more stacks, this time by Judea. But most of this is trash. Like, desert spears and desert tribesmen aren't that good, I think? If I can kill the generals, we'll, we'll win this. And I have the high ground if I corner camp up there. I know, I know, it's not glorious and, and heroic, but I think that gives me the best chance to leverage my Ballastarii. So let's see if I can win this one, actually. It's just shadowing their army with two units of cavalry, waiting for them to commit to the attack. Let's go. Let's get him. He's away from the flank, so maybe it's just going to be infantry that turns to defend him. If it does, that's fine. I can deal with that by running away. Okay, so they're not responding to the fact that their general's just been attacked by two cavalry. Okay, I think I can take out their general. Their cavalry seems to be just charging the front line. They're Yeah, they're just not responding. Ah, they've turned some... No. No, they're just not responding. Perfect. Get the slingers. You kill the general. Yes, we have their general. They're all shaken. They should be taking massive morale hits when I engage with my... Oh, no. No, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of there. Oh, so much for these being like god tier units. They just can't shoot. They they are just unable to engage. None of these guys can shoot. Like, they're, they're right in front of you. They're right there. You can shoot right into their unprotected, unshielded flanks. But no, no, oh no, we, we can't shoot. We, we are not able to shoot. We can, we can see them, we can smell them, and we can touch them. But no, it is impossible for us to shoot. I really, really tried. I really, really tried. I swear, I tried. I put the effort in. I tried to go for the throat, do the sensible thing, and it doesn't work because line of sight is a joke. That's yeah, over. The uh, left flank is collapsed or the right flank, depending on how you look at it. They're going to get at my archers who still aren't shooting. Single unit of cavalry has wiped out my two units of cavalry. I'm going to lose this army. <laughs> Instantly, these guys, not, none of these guys can shoot. I don't know why, but immediately the game thinks none of these guys have line of sight or, or have range and they can't shoot. So they're pretty 
screwed already. Where's that general? Did that general just run off? Well, the general's not here. My cavalry has immediately been the, 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 just annihilated because of one anti-cavalry unit. That was a waste. That was a gigantic waste. But the counter charge does mean my units did manage to do significant damage to the enemy flank. Keep chasing them. Cavalry, get back there. Please fire. You have very open, clearly open lines of fire. And you're just not taking the shot. That is just so incredibly frustrating. So incredibly frustrating. Because I have a clear shot. I can see that I have a clear shot. And it just doesn't, does nothing. Their general is dead. All right, you guys switch over to whistling shot. You guys switch over to fire arrows. And hopefully the combined debuffs will allow us to get the enemy to rout. Because I see a lot of routing suddenly. Attack, engage, engage, engage. Overwhelm the remaining units. Good. It looks like we still got this. We still have a chance. Yes, I think they're all routing. I think everybody's routing. Just kill as many of them as we can in the pursuit phase now. Because I took a lot of damage, but this is an opportunity to kill off so many of the units if we can just get a couple more kills in. Heroic victory. Uh, that was a good one. Wow. I lost a lot of units, but I killed so much more than I lost. Thank God these guys have like horrible morale. Once the general died, that was it. And I think I've managed to outmaneuver the Sassanid faction. Leader the Shahana Shah, the great Shah, King of Kings, managed to get himself trapped in Nova Troyana Bostra and allowed me to put three stacks next to the city along with an onager. So I can probably auto... Yeah, I, I'm definitely definitely going to auto resolve this. This stack isn't amazing, but I don't really want to deal with fighting like siege battles. They're not exactly <laughs> my forte. Defensive siege battles, really fun. Offensive siege battles, not my thing. Quietly auto resolve this and claim it was my strategic genius all along. That is another province reclaimed for the empire as definitely struck a blow. This is what I want to see. An entire enemy army at sea. Heavy cataphracts. Savaran cavalry. Elephants all trapped at sea and they're really not that good when they're up against a professional navy. I think this is one of those battles I, I really don't want to fight fairly. So <laughs> we got four stacks of pretty annoying units like the archers. I don't mind the first stacks not full. So those two aren't a bad deal. But then, oh, that's a lot of cataphracts and elephants and onagers coming my way. Let's run away. And of course, they're going to go after each and every one of those armies. I hope I can get them all. Oh, no, they're retreating into like stupid directions. Last army, run. No, they'll they'll bring up, I think, yeah. How are those three all in this? Look, this doesn't make any sense. How are these two other armies in range? Look, this is, they're not even close. This one, maybe, maybe. Maybe, but the other one that's not even on the screen right now is also involved. Oh, wait, no, this is the city garrison. I didn't even get the high ground. They get the high ground. Of course they get the high ground. This is gonna go poorly. I essentially have no chance of winning this, and I knew that from the start. It's just unfortunate. I'm sure Legend of Total War could win this. I'm sure he knows the ins and outs of all the units and how to counter them and how to effectively cheese this battle. I don't. Like, this isn't even putting up a good fight. This is... <laughs> <laughs> this is just a disgrace. This is an absolute disgrace. The Persians are just everywhere. They have stacks upon stacks upon stacks of invincible cavalry armies that you could never afford with the territory they have. The AI can because economy because economy doesn't matter to them. Oh, they got both of my armies. No, no, no. Two of my top three armies are just going to be wiped out by this. Is the terrain at least better? No, I got the low ground again. Can I get something going for me, please? Keep retreating. At least the onagers are getting... <laughs> They're just stuck. And that is my Martiarii wiped out. And all we managed to kill was one elephant unit. Because they, they just did not throw their spears. They, they just didn't, didn't throw their spears at all. And the onagers haven't fired a single shot. And the enemy is going to enter minimal range soon. So they won't be able to fire more shots. If I can kill their general. Come on, maybe I can start a mass route if I can kill their general with my onagers. What? They killed my general? Uh, I should have put him in testudo. What I was gonna do to them, they've done to me. Flaming shot. Let's get the Indian war elephants. I 
I shouldn't be able to break my line with those units. No, the spear line should hold. Enemy general died. That's it. That's it. We can win this. We have to start causing routes now. Palatina guard. Okay, you. Center. Center needs reinforcement. All right, pull the cavalry back and let the artillery do all they can. Okay, so they just got those archer units left and a little bit of random trash. Elite infantry there. Elite infantry there. I don't want to see the elite infantry anymore. Make it disappear. The onager has fired all its shots. Just fire at those big blobs, please. Whatever you still have, fire at that, those big blobs. Artillery has done all it can, realistically, so... Skirmishers and archers is all they have left. <laughs> I don't have any fast units left. Nothing for it but to wait. The army loss penalty should be hitting them soon. That's two of their archer units out of ammunition, but they somehow managed to... Alright, so they're able to kill... Spearman. Right. Don't tell me I'm about to be hit with the army loss penalty next. <laughs> This is so stupid. Yay! Victory! <laughs> oh my god. Does this even count as victory? We are eating our way into Hispania once we've colonized Carthaginensis. Car Car Carthaginensis? Down here. We'll take out the Franks and then we'll take out the Rugians. Control that area. The Garamanchans down here and some rebels near here might take out the Sahara and then I can consolidate in the area here as well. Take out Mauritania with the troops I can bring down from Hispania. Dacia is being obnoxious so I might declare war on them as well once I get an army in the region and then we'll consolidate Dalmatia and Pannonia. The Roman Empire, at least the east, is starting to piece itself together a little bit. They've managed to get some of their armies back into Asia, Asia minor and they're pushing so they're staving off the inevitable also building up fresh troops here because we took one hell of a beating i spy with my little eye persian idiocy once again so the navy can maybe strike another blow they can't help themselves putting their armies on ships and sailing them into my navies this is a very cost effective way of taking care of business yeah that is two stacks wiped out. It's going to cost me a couple of ships, maybe? Light marines. Two light marines. Not even that hard to replace. I think I want to be consolidating Syria, so I just need to take Emesa. It's a one province faction. It's a town. I can easily storm it. There is a big stack there, but I can overpower them with two of my own big stacks, so let's do that. I'll declare war. They don't have any allies. I don't think I want to call my Hunnic allies in because they're unreliable. So it would lead to the alliance breaking. I, I don't want that. I need, I need, I definitely need the Huns to be friendly for now. All right, so encircle it. Bring in more reinforcements. Two on one should be, yeah, like way, way easier. I even prefer three on one just for the hell of it. With my large onagers, I could probably take this with virtually no casualties. But I really don't like these city battles. Attacking is kind of annoying. <laughs> Let's just auto resolve it. It's, it's easy anyway. Up Occupy the faction. Well, let's occupy the city. I think. Oh, well, they still have an army, I guess. I just consolidate, reconfigure. A lot of more stuff to be torn down than I uh, had assumed. The final desperate move of a faction that's about to die. Palmyra is attacking the settlement. 242, 68, and 138. I think those are good numbers. Those are definitely good numbers. And the stack's pretty much dead. I'm gonna quickly launch a night attack on these guys. That way the Sassanid garrison can't intervene. And I can take on these legionaries pretty much unopposed. Well, unopposed. I've, I've got a bunch of legions coming my way. I think they've got three cavalry units. I think I should be able to take them out. Let's look at the terrain. So yeah, they're in fort stance. I'm going to pound them with artillery. They're going to be very concentrated in a very small area. And that is going to be wonderful for these heavy onagers. Yeah, the onagers should have no trouble wiping the floor with whatever they've got. Let's see what their infantry does. Counter charge, counter charge, counter charge, counter charge. Again, it's easier or rather better to counter charge an enemy that's attacking you. Unless it's cavalry. Uh, you want to be braced to face cavalry. But uh, to take on enemy infantry, it's way better to charge at the last moment to take them out. Because again, we're not here to fight fair. We're here to fight effectively. They're pretty much gone. All right. 
There we go. End the battle. End the battle. I don't know if I should kill them or if they can retreat. They were in encampment stance, but I'm not sure if that matters. Let's end the battle. Decisive victory. I didn't lose too many men. A couple of my spearmen got a little bit beat up, but look at the kills. All right, does that kill him? No, he gets to run away. Of course he does. Oh, well. Now we can take Edessa easily. Auto resolve it. And voila, another major city stripped away from the Persian Empire. And with every step of the way, we force the enemy back. Oh, well, this is useful. I can have two more armies and another navy and another governor. I can have more things. You know, I've been trying to get these guys across for a while, but they're constantly being bullied and it's it's really annoying. But I think I can move now. So let's assassinate a couple more people in the area if we can. Yeah, that's another one gone. And we're going to hop across and start pressuring the Abdanians in their own territory. They got a lot of stacks, though. Ooh, I got a lot of stacks. Because the AI decided to move its armies elsewhere, we have an opportunity. I can take London or Londinium. I think I should. This will be an excellent lodestone to draw the enemy in. I should be able to hold this with my armies and turn it into a slaughter ground for the tribes. I'll park the army that has all the balistarii here. I'll simply occupy it. Like the high walls combined with the archers? I think I can hold that. Time to end the Dacians. I've uh, indulged them long enough. Careful should be fine. I got a lot of archers, so that usually means careful's good. And did I lose anyone? Eh, no major losses. Perfect. I could subjugate them, but they'll never be trustworthy. I think I'll just, you know, move in. And from Sirmium, I can then colonize Pannonia, and I can also colonize Dalmatia. Annoyingly, the Abdanians are, of course, going for the field army that's not currently entrenched in the city. The city itself is under siege. I think I can win this, maybe? See if I can get behind them and get at their general. If the general dies, like, most of this Celtic trash is fairly low, so they should fall over relatively quickly. All right, the Lancers should be able to do a good amount of damage. Charge in and out and in and out. These guys can Counter shot. Ah, I was too late. Oh, I forgot. Well, there you go, my ballista. I'll have to see how this plays out. Back, 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 back. Kill them, kill them. You charge them, charge them. Why are the cavalry archers not running when I want them to? What? How, how did you... Look... <laughs> How do the cavalry archers manage to get themselves caught by swordsmen? And we're getting a shocking large amount of damage in from just trash. Yeah, like the horses got caught by their, I, I think, their Ebdani raiders. It just absolutely destroyed. Got absolutely wrecked. Most of their units are trapped there. If I can get the kill in. Right, disengage, disengage. Oh, I'm annoyed by the cavalry managing to get itself caught like that. That was disgusting. That was shameful. Got a route on our hands? Yes. We're managing to force a route. So kill, 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 kill. Bring the general up. You guys pick up your artillery. Where is my remaining cavalry? Here. Clean up. Ride them down. Yeah, everything else is going to route now. Good. Now I just need to mop up. All right. Well, that was uh, messier than I expected. I should have protected my artillery better, but at least it's not wiped out. Decisive victory, despite being severely out- well, severely. Despite being quite outnumbered. Cavalry did the most- yeah, cavalry really did the majority of the killing there. Hopefully they won't send another stack in. <laughs> that would be annoying. Well, I'll be honest, I, um, I didn't expect them to actually attack me in Emesa, but they somehow managed to find three more stacks, so Persians can keep pulling them right out of their rear, but we have a settlement. I have an army in that settlement, and I think I can handle him. The funniest thing about this kind of settlement is that they don't actually climb the walls because they have no siege equipment and in uh, Attila there's no such thing as ladders you can pull out of your pockets like you can in the Warhammer games so there is no way for them to avoid these killing choke points and they, they pretty much just have to take it see if we can take out their onagers if the onagers are gone I really don't have to worry about anything yeah, they decided to just not protect their onagers that's fine I'll just kill them oh is that elephants charging into this thick field of spears uh, I don't I don't expect them to do well. Ooh, enemy counter archery is annoying. So they've got a ton, like a mountain of horse archers. That's going to be very fun to deal with. I need I need to get these onagers deployed and firing. It's not going very well. Start lobbing explosive grenades into this mass of troops, please. I'll bring the cavalry up, see if I can attack their horse archers from the rear. Well, at least this traffic jam's not going anywhere. And the enemy general has decided to no longer be alive. That's 
Good. The flame arrows hurt, the whistling arrows hurt. Yeah, we're gonna see routes now. And I think it's gonna give a chain effect. Now, if these onagers could start hurling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I get oh, yes. A couple of explosive shots into that mass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Rome at its finest. Uh, oh, I think I blew up my own shield wall. It's worth it. Oh, this is Attila at its finest. The Western Empire will not be messed with. Oh, this is about as over as it's going to get. I don't see them coming back from this. <laughs> the enemy tremble before our greater numbers. Now everybody's running. Now uh, well, let's mop up a little. This case, this is where I wish I still had the Preventores and the horses to just really mop up. But I think we've done well here. That was a fun battle. I love these kind of battles. It's just wave upon wave of enemy troops break upon the mighty fortress. That is the Western Roman army. 766 kills on one Onager. That's the Onager that was firing into that blob of units. So we've killed all of their generals. They've lost another faction leader and like most of these armies, uh, most of these units are just gone. After a couple of small back and forths with the Persians, I think I'm ready to bring the full might of Rome to bear. So the US armies have been upgraded. All of them have very good artillery, very good cavalry, and well, basic, fairly basic-ish infantry, but I think I can stand up to the Persians now. I'll take Nisibis and Amida after, and I think that is where I can close the Eastern campaign is a fairly good chokehold if I build up Nisibis with some fortifications. And I'll, I'll either just raid the Persian border or just defend my own settlements. But I think the East will be secure. I'll focus on taking a little bit more of North Africa, I think, if I can. Just to get the required settlements, I can take all of this, take out the Morians. I'm also done colonizing in Spain, so these places just need to be a little bit of build up. And then I have two armies and a navy ready to take on the Franks and the... Who are, who are these people? The Rugians? Okay, and then I have a Hispania under my command as well. And the campaign in Britain is also going fairly well. I've taken two settlements. The armies here are in decent shape now, but there are a lot of Abdanian stacks. I think the Abdanians are one of the more powerful factions or they're just very concentrated here. They haven't gone anywhere except straight into Londinium where I've just been fending off a couple of uh, stacks every now and then. Yoink. And then we'll take Amida next turn or so, once these guys have somewhat replenished. Let's start taking some settlements here. Let's quickly auto-resolve that, park myself in that place, and we can start our campaign against the Rugians. I was hoping not to fight on, like, seven fronts at the time, but very little to be picky about right now. Let's tear that down. I don't need... You. Let's tear that down. I think it's time we wiped out Orients, control the province of Osroin, Osroin, whatever. I got plenty of armies here. Uh, if I'm making a night attack, oof, let's just encircle it, bring up the reinforcements. Our army is so much stronger. Yes, 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 I should be fighting this on the battlefield, maybe. But it's so much easier to just annihilate them in a quick auto-resolve that doesn't actually cost me all that much. There we go, casualties. Minimal. And that is their last major city, if I'm not mistaken. They got two more minor settlements, but the Abdanians have been subdued. And I think they got another army out at sea here that I'm now going to deny life, essentially, because an army at sea is no match for an actual navy. Look, two full stacks. This should be a close call, but it, it's 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 not even... No, goodbye. And blah, 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 blah. They're gone. The picks one piece. That could be beneficial to me, because I don't want to find my way up there. You want to be a puppet state? No. I'll take a peace treaty. Maybe I can get something out of them. A non-aggression? No. Are you going to pay me? So that's one less faction to worry about. The Abdanians, Caledonians. All right. Classic AI move. Bring four fully stacked stacks of absolutely infuriating units to overwhelm the player. I don't want to fight this. I really don't want to fight this. I have the high ground. I have artillery. I could corner camp with my artillery and turn off control large army. That will force him to trickle in his reinforcements. But it's a lot of units. Let's get the general moving. And we'll, we'll try to take his general from the rear. Take him out. Diamond formation. Overwhelm him. And then we can start picking off some of his rear units, like the Sogians. The Sogian warriors are the only thing he has with decent armor piercing, except for probably his horse archers. If his horse archers 
can fire at us from the sides, we are in a, in a bit of trouble. Their general should be as good as dead. If he dies, they have no morale. If they have no morale, we can get them the route very easily. All right, enemy reinforcements are going to start coming in. And they've got a lot of reinforcements, so I may not have sufficient artillery to kill everybody. Let's halt for a little bit. I don't need you firing right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. The Sogians reached my line. The Sogians reached my line. That is a problem. Ah, I should have killed them off. My reinforcements are coming in, so don't exactly know where to... Oh, sure. Sure. Send me those reinforcements. A single unit at half combat strength. Uh, that's going to be amazing. Thanks. These guys are pretty much beat up. I'm going to have them withdraw, and maybe I get some decent reinforcements in their, st in their stead. Now, I don't think they have all that much armor-piercing potential coming in. Unfortunately, this is just the second stack I'm fighting, so they have a, an, a whole other stack, and then another whole stack waiting for my untimely device. Fire arrows are making them waver. I got whistling arrows coming in as well, so they don't have a general. They're gonna take a big morale hit, and I don't think they'll survive in melee for long. Neither are these guys. I'll throw in the really weak Legios wherever it seems like they might be beneficial, because they're just the garrison force anyway. I don't mind losing them. I'll reform the line after we're done here. Right now, just hold the line. Try to get, like, a little bit of a cascade of strength going. So, overwhelm one flank and start rolling it over to the other side of the, the battlefield. So, my artillery's gone, my archers are gone. That is most of my killing potential gone. I don't know what kind of reinforcements are gonna come in for the enemy. I hope they're not too tough. So yeah, I'm just withdrawing units that are that have just completely lost their combat potential. I'm not worried about most of their archers. So the, the archers don't worry me. It's everything else. Engage, engage, engage. I get the Legio Comet Atentes to move forward so they can do some infantry skirmishing. Once the infantry line routes, I'll pull them back and set them to defensive once more. You will win if the time runs out. Yay! We'll win! <laughs> This is the longest battle I've fought in a while. Close victory. Whew. Oh, yeah. I think we had a good run here. All of the generals once again died. Ah, oh, yes. Praise be the power of the corner. That is the final settlement of the horrible Lebdanians. They haven't even put up a fight because I think they just got sacked by this massive amount of Geats. I'm just gonna occupy it then and I control Britannia Inferior and Britannia Superior. And the enemy still has about two stacks. So they just become a migratory tribe. They probably have a couple more armies, but we now have the Northern Campaign closed. I can sit on Hadrian's Wall and just defend. I'll pull two of these armies out. One should be enough to contain whatever they have up here. And uh, the other troops can go either into Iberia or we can press in. Well, there's, there's nothing to push elsewhere. It's just ruins. The Huns have burned almost the entire map. Now, I, I will admit I burned several of those provinces, yes, but the Huns have done uh, this. You can see on the minimap just how empty everything is. It's just Europe is a desolate place. Yeah, I think I should be pursuing peace with Persia soon so I could divert my attention to other affairs. There's some fighting up there. The Eastern Empire is still in one place peace, sort of. I, I don't want to fight the Easterners. I can, but is it really worth it? We're pursuing our own goals, which is victory. We're close. Just need another 50-ish <laughs> settlements. I can go colonize half the map. That should be easy. We've done everything else. The infantry combat and triumphal arch are the only two things I still need to do and destroy one more faction, which I think we can theoretically do up here easily or just wipe out the Abdanians. All in all, I am pretty pleased with how quickly we managed to get everything secured here. Down here, everything's going well. Uh, public order, not so much. Not much I can do about it right now. Don't have any additional troops available. It's it's the little things that are going to be annoying you when you play Rome. Mostly public order related. Well, with the last settlement of the Rugians taken, I think I have Hispania under my control. I just need to take out the Franks who are entirely surrounded by the power of Rome. Let's quickly auto-resolve this. Should be able to take this out. Yes, the army took damage. I don't care. Uh, loot and occupy? Maybe you should loot and occupy. It's, it's a lot of money. Now let's start taxing some more places. And downsize several of my armies. Get rid of the mercenaries. Get rid of whatever I don't need. Well, it looks like the Persians have decided. Um, we're all aboard the pain train once again. Oh my god, they're bringing a lot of onagers. Four onagers to this party. The remainder of this campaign is just gonna be me desperately trying to hold on while the Persians and all of my newfound enemies are gonna try to kill me. Fire into that giant stack of units. Alright, let's see if we can get to their archers. 
Yep, enemy generals dead. They're gonna rout. Absolutely going to rout. Fire into that little traffic jam there. The artillery is needed to do its job now. These guys are actually catching their archers. That's good. Let's bring the cavalry out as well. Start dealing with the archers and other lagging units and pursue the enemy. Heroic victory. Not bad. I think that's three Persian stacks taken out with less than a thousand casualties. So that's more than a four to one kill ratio. These Roman settlements are incredibly overpowered. Oh, my archers. The archers did well. Ah, uh, I want to see the kills. I want to see the kills. So my onagers, 400, 400 and 200 kills and then like 300 and 400 on my Ballastarii. And the enemy stacks are just in shambles. If we pursue them next turn, we'll, we'll get a nice kill out of them. Looks like we'll be um, hugging the corner again. That is three full stacks of Persian pain coming my way. Well, I'll turn off fire at will. And same for the catapults. If I shoot anything initially, it's going to be the Sogdian warriors again because they are so annoying with their really, really tough armor piercing. I, I don't need that in my life right now. Line of speed. Spears, Comet Attend, Allegios to reinforce whatever is breached, and the artillery to kill everything that I can kill. <laughs> that, that, that was impressive. Well, the elephants are taken care of with minimal casualties to myself. This is entirely luck based if I win now. It's it's just because I got lucky. So with that breach in the center, that means I need to maneuver my units out of their trusted spear formation. That then means my units are no longer capable of just absorbing the arrows. And when I can't absorb the arrows, the enemy archers just wipe the floor with me. I shouldn't have positioned my army here. I, I I did this to myself. I fought a battle that I didn't have to fight. I legitimately didn't have to fight this. I could have just held up in that settlement and fought really easy defensive battles there. But no, I, I had to try and come out there and fight. And the general is going to die. The army is going to get wiped out. And my uh, hold on the east is going to get tenuous. <laughs> really fucking tenuous. Close defeat. All in all, I, I, I gave a good account of myself. I think I killed half the enemy force, which isn't terrible, but you just, I need more. I needed more than that, and I came up short. Now, Nisibis is isolated and alone. That army... Oh, it retreated. Oh, the general's dead, so it doesn't really matter. Maybe I can patch that army back together. We'll see. Okay, so they want to attack this place as well. Well, you've seen me fight one battle. This is going to be very much the same. All right, it's a little bit sloppy, but this should do. So just bottle up all the entrances with uh, spearmen, preferably the garrison. Have reserve spearmen standing by to take over once units start dying. I'm keeping my legios down in the center here, all in testudo, so I can soak up the many, 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 many arrows the enemy is going to throw at me. Palastarii just getting wiped out by the masses of enemy archers. Uh, oh, they have so many ranged units. It's absurd. Looks like I've fended off most of what's been thrown at us. There's still more units coming in. Where are they finding all these? I've run out of killing potential. I, I mean, I still got cavalry, but cavalry that, let's face it, is, is worthless cavalry. And that is the last shot out of my heavy onagers. I've killed everything I'm going to kill with those guys. So many stupid archers. So many stupid archers. And they have so much ammunition as well. I think they still have more reinforcements. Oh no, the general died. The general just got zapped out of existence by those skirmishers. No, by fucking skirmishers. Their horse archers have so much ammunition that you can't just wait them out. You have to take the fight to them, but I, I cannot do that because I die. Oh yeah, they got stupid uh, elephants there as well. That's fun. And even if I still win, was it, was it worth it? Was it even worth it? I lost the general, probably the entire garrison, the majority of the army. I don't think it was worth it. Oh, thank God this is over. Oh, thank God this is over. I shouldn't have fought this battle this poorly, but it, it it's over. Oh my God, I must have taken so many casualties here. Oh, thousands of men gone. I think the army is decimated. The garrison is decimated. I hurt the Persians. I certainly hurt the Persians here, but uh, I think I'm off. I'm, I'm off way worse than them. Happy days. Of course, when all things are almost over, it really starts falling apart in Attila. In this case, I think these are the Danes. They've decided to declare war on me. They're probably going to take Brigantium off me. Fortunately, I have an army nearby and this is irrelevant, but it, it really does piss me off. Ah, uh, the beauty of vengeance. So Persians, still around 
but they don't have their massive stacks anymore. Their units took a lot of damage. After the initial big siege, they withdrew back into their territory and were just sort of raiding me. Unfortunately, the Emperor is now interned on his golden throne, and he is wounded and convalescing. Ah, Nisibis is really turning into the place where I break the Persians. They send stack after stack after stack, and the Emperor and the, the garrison just throw them all back. Uh, in this case, even better, I can launch a night attack and just annihilate the first force without even having to touch the others, because this is a lot of units. I can easily auto-resolve this with a bit of aggression. Stab, stab, you're dead. Minimal casualties on my side. Of course, they are going to immediately besiege me again next turn, possibly even launch an assault, but I have units I can bring in. And I need two more settlements, and I think I'm going to get them here. I can take Tingis with the army or armies in southern Spain, and I think I can take Caesarea by using the fleet in Cartago Nova. It should be powerful enough to overwhelm the fleet they have and uh, the garrison in the city. That brings me to minor victory, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. This this campaign is just bogged down. I'll settle for what I can get. All right, the fleet can easily take the city, so we'll just auto-resolve it. Blah, 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 blah. Good, then now the fleet actually did something useful. They've been very expensive. Simply occupy it. Just auto-resolve it. Bada bing, bada boom. Minor casualties. That's it. Find your victory. I'll take it. This is the first legendary campaign I've completed in Attila Total War. First time I've ever won a legendary campaign. Flavius Honorius Augustus managed to hold the Western Empire together and win the grand campaign of Attila Total War. It took me 159 turns to win in 434 AD. We lost six settlements, we captured 66 settlements. Total income is huge, total expenses also huge. Overall, not bad. I've destroyed over 2,000 units, fought 207 battles, of which I did 20 manually. <laughs> <laughs> I won 185 battles. I lost 22. I, I think that's pretty okay. That is the end of this campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more Total War videos, uh, let me know. Suggestions are welcome down in the comments. I hope you guys will enjoy this next video as well. See ya.